Okay, using Pose Libraries in Blender 2.49b. Uh, this we've got our finger rig set up here, and we've got a rotation limit. You remember, um, if we take it down here, uh, so that it doesn't deform the mesh or rip the mesh, we've put a constraint uh, across the x-axis rotation. Now, what we also need to do is put a bit of exaggeration, because it is a cartoon hand, a bit of exaggeration up the other way. And to do this, we've got minimum minus 75 down here in the constraints. For maximum, we'll type in 20. And you'll see that it's got a wee bit of an exaggerated... Uh, we can You can do even more, it's completely up to you. But it's got a wee bit of an exaggerated uh, rotation upwards now. Now we go to the button bar and change it to timeline and now we need to open up our library and start adding poses so we go to pose and pose library and the, the these are the things that we'll be dealing with um, adding poses and browsing poses uh, we'll use the shortcut keys because it's so much quicker which is control L and shift L so if we go out of that and I hit Shift L. It brings up this little panel here with the name, and by default it's got Pose. We shall type in Relax. Click OK. So that's really our, our rest position, I suppose you could say. And then what we'll do is we shall bend our finger right round and shift L again, add new, and we'll call that clench. OK. And then we'll shift L again, add new. Oh, sorry. Go out of that. I need to actually set the pose first before we can add it to the library, of course, obviously. So we'll do a just a little, a, a strange little point like that. So shift L again, add new, and we'll call that point. So we have three poses basically to choose from. So we go to control L, and using your scroll wheel on your mouse, or the um, page up or down, or the up and down arrows will work as well. Um, you can actually go through and see the poses that you've set. OK, so we'll start with this one in our timeline. So if we click on our timeline, add location, rotation, scale, go up to 20, click back onto the main panel, control L again, and we'll go to the clench, I think, and then we'll go back, click back into the timeline window, hit another keyframe here, location, rotation, scale, back up to 30 I think now, click back in here, shift L, and we will go to the point I think, click back in here, location, rotation, scale, and then we'll finish it off at 40 with the uh, click back in here again, control L, and we'll go back to our relaxed pose. So if we go back to the beginning and run it, you can see we've got a nice little tween between all the uh, key poses that we've put in there. Uh, it's then it's just a matter of going into the IPO curve editor and changing the velocity. Uh, what you want to avoid, you can see there's a wee bit of what animators call popping, which is where there's a wee bit of snapping to the actual key, and you want to avoid that. You want the keys to really be invisible as possible. Uh, so you do that through the IPO curve editor. And that's really all there is to using the pose library in Blender.